Today Moon Knight episode 4 dropped and let me say, damn, I like this episode. I know I've said that about the other ones as well, which I did, but I felt this one was more of a mind trip. Some are probably wondering what was that kind of ending that we got as well. But if you are new, please subscribe to the channel to have more Star Wars, DC and Marvel news and gaming content as well. Also follow me on Twitch, TikTok, Hover and Twitter links will all be down in the description below. So to start with, we'll talk about where Stephen Grant is left unconscious on the ground where Layla is then attacked by two of Harrow's men in a car which Layla takes out very very easily. We see more of a back and forth with both Stephen and Mark when Stephen feels betrayed by Mark for telling Stephen I'll be gone as Khonshu is done or he is gone with me and now that Khonshu is gone Mark is still with Stephen. Of course there's a lot of arguing because of both Stephen kissing Layla who is Mark's ex-wife and of course after this happens Stephen tells Layla Mark has been keeping her away or in the dark of where he is or what he's doing because of Khonshu. Has said Layla would make a good avatar if Mark doesn't do what Khonshu needs of him and what and we see that this scene right here <laughs> just made me laugh so much. Oh, Once they get down into the tomb of Amit, they show us Hika priests, I think I'm saying that right. They were entombed in the tomb as well to protect the pharaoh. The camera then pans to Stephen where he throws up in his mouth due to fresh blood on the table or on the slab of stone that is in front of both him and Layla. And a few minutes later we see why the Hika priests are taking some of Harrow's men, killing them and taking some of their organs which we don't know what they're doing with as of now really and truly and I don't think we'll find out either. We have this great scene where Arthur and Leia are talking to each other in a room with no floor and Arthur knows what happened to Leila's dad who is one of the archaeologists who died at the dig site that Mark was there as well. This scene just showed us how good of an actor Ethan Hawke was and plays such a good villain just the way he's able just to stand there and just oh, it just chills at times like oh it's so good. We are then brought back to Stephen where he finds the tomb of Alexander the Great where Stephen opens a tomb to find Amit and the statue is called Usabti. I think I'm saying that right, where Stephen then has to rip the cloth from Alexander the Great's face, break his jaw and put almost all of his arm down Alexander the Great's mouth to find Amit where he gets it then. After this Layla confronts Mark about her dad where Mark takes over Stephen's body and explains everything to her and then he is shot by Arthur Harrow twice in the chest near the heart and I'm fairly sure one actually does hit his heart as well. Then the next scene shows us Mark in a mental asylum with all the characters we meet throughout this show already. For example, Crawley, who was painted gold and didn't move, is the same guy who holds up the bingo number balls. Two of the staff members are actually the police officers that call to Stephen's apartment. Stephen's boss, Donna, from the museum, is a patient there as well. Arthur Harrow is the main guy in the place, or the therapist. We also see Layla being a patient in the hospital as well. We see when Mark tries to move and get out of his wheelchair, when he hits the floor, he drops a Moon Knight action figure. This is from the comics from 2016, which is a huge fan favorite, and it's a good comic book run as well. And I could see this whole thing could just be fake, and I can't see Moon Knight really being real, because that would be kind of a bad thing to do because they're in the mental asylum and basically everything that happens in the mental asylum has it where was Khonshu real? Is Steven real? Is Mark real? Or is Moon Knight even a hero? Or is he even real at all? It gets you kind of second guessing and it's really, really good. Now there's a scene where Mark is trying to escape and there's kind of like a right turn, basically a 90 degrees turn where... When Mark does get to it, the lights and stuff that's there, like the tables or the little trolleys, actually start to move sideways, kind of like what Doctor Strange could do. This is 100% taking place in Mark Spector's mind because we see Mark free Stephen from a tomb and they are both together as separate entities. Which is crazy, we already have seen a third personality take control of the body 
where both Stephen and Mark don't know. And that happened in episode 3 of Moon Knight, which I talked about in my review of Moon Knight episode 3, which you can watch on my channel either by clicking the link in the description below or clicking on the cards above. But we see this scene where there's another tomb upright and it's shaking like crazy which is a nice little reference to Moon Knight's third personality Jake Lockley who is the person who killed the people in the last episode. We are then left with this last scene which has a hippo say hi. Now this is a female hippo. This is actually Twirate. I think I'm saying that. I'm probably butchering that name to be honest. Who acts like a god between of people cleansing them so they can go to the afterlife and she's actually connected to the egyptian sun god ra now if this is the case that she is there to cleanse them for the afterlife then this confirms mark specter slash stephen grant are dead and were killed by arthur harrow and you know i gotta say i'm really really liking this whole tv show it's something new, it's something different, it's kind of pushing the boundaries of Marvel, what they've been used to, you know, we got a lot of different things from all of the TV shows, to be honest, when you think about it, like WandaVision was different, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was different, What If was extremely different, and this is extremely different as well. But if you did like it, and if you were going to return, please hit the subscribe button and check out all my social medias, link down in the description below, and peace.